Look at the people around. They're all different from you unless you have an identical twin. You are you and they are them. Nobody else is like you in the whole universe. Isn't that wonderful? Yet, there are many similarities between us, like the upright posture, the big skull, and the sparse body hair which distinguish us from other primates and all other animals. The same holds true if you dive deep into the human cells and start comparing genomes. Only that, now the similarities are even larger. 99.5% of the genome is identical between any two people. The remaining 0.5% codes for the differences between us, enough to guarantee that each of our genomes is individual and unique. In fact, as the case with your appearance, there is no other genome identical to yours in the whole world. Now let's go back to people watching. Observe that the variation between people can be of two kinds. First, is the diversity between people in the same country, city, or family, which is your own personal identity. Second, is the variation between populations that, for instance, distinguishes people from different continents. Dark skin is characteristic of some continents, and some specific eye and facial features are typical of others. This between population level of diversity is relevant because historically it has served to divide humankind into categories that were called races. The mistaken belief that humans could be classified into different races has led to discrimination, exploitation and atrocities, including the Nazi Holocaust. If once again we dip into our genomes to evaluate these two components of human diversity, we discover that the vast majority of the variation occurs between persons from the same population and not between populations. That means that I am as different from a fellow Brazilian as I am from an African or an Asian. We are all equally different. In other words, genome studies have shown once and for all that human races do not exist. Indeed, we find no races in the human genome. The physical features that are used to distinguish continental groups depend only on a handful of genes among the more than 20,000 genes of the human genome. And these few genes have absolutely nothing to do with those that influence intelligence, abilities, and talents. The reason why so much of the genome is identical in humans is because we are a very young species which appeared in Africa no more than 200,000 years ago. Only 60,000 years ago, modern humankind left Africa to populate the other continents. As they occupied new areas, new mutations occurred randomly in their DNA and became geographical genome markers. Today, we can use DNA tests to read into a person's genome the continental origin of her ancestors. In conclusion, the only scientifically coherent way to think of human diversity is not in populations, but individually, as 7 billion diverse persons, all different in their genomes and life histories. Under this vision, the concept of races vanishes like smoke. In Brazil, each one of us has multiple DNA ancestries and we are proud of it. We are a country that prizes cordiality. Everybody is welcome into our multicolored society. In the 2014 Football World Cup and in the 2016 Olympic Games, we will welcome people from all over the world with open arms. We are all relatives in the big family of humanity. The Mozambican author Mia Couto writes of a black individual who, when arrested and questioned by the police about his race, replied, Each person is his own race, Mr. Police. Each person is an individual humanity. 
Taking our cue from the wisdom of this character, we can say, I am me race. You are you race. We are no race.